Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. So your wish was to crochet this beautiful diamond rug and today we're going to have a look into the new Wolpedia magazine too and there you will find the written pattern and the crochet chart for this beautiful rug and we are going to crochet this one today so I will show you how to do that. I'm going to use our lines. This is the color pastel blau, so a light blue. And I'm going to use my favorite Clover Soft Touch 4.0 millimeters crochet hook. So this pattern is calling for a repeat of 20 stitches. And this is what you see in the frame. But I will show you all the 41 stitches that you can see here. And I will show you how to crochet all of them that you can see how to do the repeat. So it depends on which width you'd like. Just keep in mind that you need always 20 stitches. So you should cast on or chain 20 stitches or 40 or 60, 80, 100 and so on plus one for the beginning. Yeah, let's get started. So let's do a simple slip knot for this create a circle. Put the long string under the circle and pull it through. This creates a loop. Insert your hook through the loop and tighten. Now chain three stitches. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through and a third one okay so now yarn over and we're going to stitch through the very first stitch and then yarn over and pull up a loop and you've got three loops on your hook and this will be a double crochet but for growing we need to chain one more so we need to grow our base Okay, and then you've got again three loops on your hook. Don't forget to chain one extra stitch. Now yarn over and pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. And this will give you your next double crochet. Now yarn over and stitch under both loops of your created stitch and pull up a loop. You've got again your three loops, but don't forget, chain one, always chain one for growing the base. And then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And this is how to create the base of double crochet. So you're going under both loops at the bottom and then pull up your loop chain one for growing the base and then crochet the double crochet through two and through two. Yeah, and you just repeat this for 41 stitches and you're going to count the very first one. So the three chain stitches from the beginning will count as the first double crochet. So these are our 41 double crochets as a base and now we're going to start the very first row. For this you can chain two or three chain stitches. This depends on your tension. So if you've got a high tension chain three, if you've got a loose tension chain two. But I'm going to crochet a wrong double crochet so you can do it as you like. I'm going to do a wrong double crochet. They are looking nicer. Yeah, I like the look. And I'm going to show you how to do that. For this, enlarge your loop and then just twist your hook around this loop and stitch through the very first stitch under both loops. And then just pull up a loop and then 
pull through two and pull through two just as the regular double crochet and yeah that's the wrong double crochet so we're going to need 20 double crochets at all and for this yarn over and stitch through the next stitch and they're both loops pull up a loop you've got again three loops on your hook pull through two and pull through two and repeat this until we've got 20 double crochets in total Now let's chain one stitch and skip the next stitch and then we're going to crochet a double crochet just as before. So all we did was creating a space by chaining one and skipping one stitch and now we're going to crochet double crochets across the row. At the end of the row I'm going to stitch through this bump or purl that's just from the very beginning where we chained three stitches. Now let's crochet row three and for this we're going to start with the wrong double crochet as before. And now let's chain one and skip this stitch and crochet double crochets through this third stitch in this row. And then you just continue to crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next space. So here we are and now let's skip this stitch, don't forget to chain one, skip the stitch and just crochet through the chain space so you're not stitching through the stitch but just under this chain space. Now chain one and skip also the next stitch and then continue to crochet double crochets. And now continue to crochet double crochets across the row until there are two stitches left at the very end so we're going to have a symmetric look. So two stitches are left. Let's skip this stitch and chain one and then crochet double crochet through the very last stitch and also here I'm going under both loops that's sometimes tricky and then just crochet your double crochet for this row. Now let's do row four and for this we're going to start with a wrong double crochet. Okay, now let's crochet double crochet through this chain space, then chain one, skip one stitch and crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space. Here we are, 
Now let's chain one and skip the next stitch and crochet double crochet through the chain space then a double crochet in the center and a double crochet through the next chain space then chain one and skip the next stitch and crochet double crochets across the row until one stitch before the next chain space. Now chain one and skip the stitch and crochet, double crochet through the chain space and double crochet through the very last stitch. Now let's do row five and for this create a wrong double crochet. You need just practice to know how large your first loop should be it's just practice and then crochet double crochet through the very next stitch or through the second stitch and a double crochet through the chain space and then chain one and skip a stitch and crochet double crochets across the row until one stitch before the next chain space so you see it's just shifting so we're shifting all the time the chain spaces to one direction and it's just all we're doing so it will be also the same at the other side but we're shifting it to the right side not to the left side so it's symmetrical Okay, and now again chain one and skip the next stitch, crochet double crochet through the chain space and then three double crochets over the neck, three double crochets. Crochet double crochet through the next chain space, chain one and skip the next stitch and crochet double crochets across the row until one stitch before the next chain space. And here again chain one and skip the next stitch a double crochet through the next chain space and double crochets until the end of the row. So this is how the work looks like and I think you've got a good idea how the pattern is working, how to crochet this pattern and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue this pattern until these lines will cross. And then we will meet again. And here we are. So this is my work so far. And now let's do row 11 together. And for this, start with the wrong double crochet, of course. And then just continue to crochet double crochets across the row 
until one stitch before the next chain space. Now we're at the point where we got the three double crochets and now we're going to crochet through the chain space and then chain one, then skip one stitch and crochet one double crochet through the center, chain one and skip one stitch and crochet double crochet through the chain space and then continue to crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space. So you see we've got something like a tip now and it looks like a pyramid or a triangle. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So and here again the same as before we're going to double crochet through the chain space then chain one and skip one stitch where you've got the three double crochets and crochet double crochet through the center or as a top or tip then chain one skip one stitch and crochet double crochet through the chain space and then crochet double crochets until the end of the row now let's do row 12 and for this do a wrong double crochet at the very beginning of the row and then crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space of course Now let's crochet double crochet through the chain space. Now chain one, skip the next double crochet and crochet a double crochet through the chain space and then continue to crochet double crochets. And as you see here, we've got only a chain space at the tip of the pyramid. And here we go again, a double crochet through the chain space, chain one, skip the next stitch, crochet double crochet through the next chain space. And we've got also here the chain space at the top and then continue to crochet double crochets until the end of the row.
So now our lines crossed each other and we've got two tips or two pyramids. And what we're going to do now is to separate them again. So they were going towards each other crossing and now we're going to separate them again. Okay, so let's start row 13 with a wrong double crochet. And then crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space. Okay, so now we've got one stitch left. Now chain one and skip one stitch, crochet, double crochet through the chain space, chain one, skip the next stitch and crochet, double crochets until the next chain space. So now you can see we've got a mirroring from the bottom to the top. So we've got to mirror this position and we will separate these lines again. And then just crochet your double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space again. And here again, chain one, skip the next stitch and crochet double crochet through the chain space, chain one and skip one stitch and crochet double crochets until the end of the row. Let's do row 14 for this. Create a wrong double crochet again. And crochet double crochets until one stitch before the next chain space. And here we are. Now let's chain one and skip the next stitch, crochet double crochet through the chain space, crochet double crochet over the double crochet, and the double crochet through the chain space, then chain one, skip the next stitch and crochet double crochets until the next chain space and one stitch before the next chain space. Thank you. 
Now let's compare our pattern with the actual rug that you get a better idea of this whole thing. And yeah, so you see we got the cross and now we're separating these lines all the time. And this is what we're going to repeat all the time. We will be doing all the time this moving together, crossing and then separating. It's just repeating over and over again. So it's very easy, it's repetitive and it's a great pattern if you like to watch a movie or to be with your family, to have breakfast, to have a coffee. So yeah, if you're setting the first chain spaces, the rest will be very simple. So it's just a pattern that works on itself or for itself. So yeah, it's very, very simple. And I hope you like this tutorial. So I hope this video was helpful. I could show you how to do this thing. So please leave me a thumbs up or a subscription. And I wish you happy crocheting. And until next time, bye bye.